your your words unattended, which is a criminal offense. So you don't just leave them at home and go to work or go to market or go to somewhere else or beat them. You can see, like our sister was saying early, earlier on, when they go to school, they were told that, see, you've got rights, and then these are the numbers that you can call, and no adult should do this to you and that to you and that to you. So when we send them out there, they get the necessary information that they need. So they have been empowered. You also need to know that you are empowered and you are working within the limits of the law. I do have a teenager and uh, I have a little one that is just going to be 10 years old. And trust me, it is a challenge these days to be able to answer them and correct them because all of a sudden you just understand that they know more than you know. They are there before you begin to start and then before you say one thing, they took two, three, four, and five. And we must look for very sustainable and legal ways to correct them. Now, if you leave them to do what they like, then of course you're leaving them to dangers. Because out there, if you don't put in, into them the right discipline and inculcate into them the word of God and prayerfully guide them to the right line, before you know it, they will, wait, they will just move away. No, listen to the news. Be, be conversant of what is going on around you. Just last week, a 12-year-old year boy was accused of murder of a 74-year-old woman. Yeah, yeah. You know, things are happening. And in this society, you know, we have children that they have in the, they are harmed with information. So we need to be very careful. And another thing I would like to, like I was saying, uh, in, let, on, okay, you want to drive in this country. Have you changed the laws? Do you know the limits where you should drive on the road? And if you ever go through that limit and the camera catch you, uh, you know, you caught you, do you know the implication of that? It's a criminal offense and you'll be sent to jail for it. Jail, you go to court for going 75 on the motorway. So we should know all these things. We should 